Today at Made Simple, we're going to be going over the sim a simplified retirement model, specifically three questions um, that you could you should be considering while preparing for retirement. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And before we begin, I would just like to, as a disclaimer, note that I am in by no means a financial advisor or registered or licensed or anything like that to give that financial advice. So this should not be taken as financial advice, but rather just as an educational video. All right, so the first question we're gonna be going over and the first question you should be asking yourself is how much money do I want to live off when I'm retired? All right, followed by how much money do I, so based off that question, we need to know how much money do I need to have on the day I retire? And based off that, we need to know how much money do I need to save monthly, which is the big question in order to achieve those goals I have. So we're gonna be going over these three questions and the things you need to be considering in order to, to answer them. All right, so for this first question, you first need to think of money in today's value, which will be considered the present value. And this is kind of going off the idea that you know, money today is not worth the same amount in the future. For example, $10 is not worth $10 20, 30, 40 years from now. So we need to convert how much we want into a future value or how much it will be in the future. So let's say I wanna live off of, let's say $55,000 a year when I'm retired. You know, I've paid off my home and you know, I'm kinda living, I don't have a ton of expenses. So I, I feel like $55,000 is pretty reasonable. All right, and then kinda going off that, we need to think about inflation as the rate um, for, for determining our future value. And let's just say an average of 2.5% per year um, for inflation. And then we also need to consider the number of years until we retire. So let's say we're 25 years old, for example, and we want to retire when we're 65, so we have 40 years left to save, and right now we have nothing saved. So then knowing this will get us to know the amount needed when we retire, or the future value of that $55,000. So we're gonna do a future value function, a negative future value to make it a positive, so we'll do the rate of 2.5%, number of periods, I'll skip the payment and go to present value. And it looks like $147,000 is equivalent to $55,000 today in 40 years, if that makes sense. All right, so moving on, now we need to know how much money do I need to have on the day that I retire based off of knowing how much I wanna live off. So we need to know the payments um, per year, which will be our PMT. Um, and that will just be this above um, future value we calculated because we're gonna wanna spend that each year in our retirement. And then we need to know the rate um, of return we will earn during retirement. And so basically what that is saying is that, you know, when I retire, I'm gonna have all this money in the bank from my retirement, all the money I've been putting in over the years and getting a return on that. I'm gonna have all this money in the bank, but I'm not gonna be taking it all out at once and spending it in one year because I plan to live more than one year in retirement. So while I'm spending some of that money, the rest of it is gonna be making more money off of um, this rate of return of the investments we have it located in. Let's say that we'll be a little bit more conservative, obviously, when we're older. So let's, or when we're in retirement, we don't want to be risky with our money or put it in risky th investments. So we're going to say four, we're going to have an, an annual return of 4%, pretty conservative. And then we also need to know the next thing is the number, number of years in retirement. So let's say we're 65 and we retire. We want to, let's just say we predict we're gonna live to be 90 years old, so 25 years in retirement. 
And knowing this information, we'll be able to know the amount um, needed when we retire. All right, and sorry again. This is this will be the rate. Let's widen this a little bit so you can see it. Um, so this will be the rate. Number of years in retirement will always be the number of periods, the n per, and this will be the uh, present value, or uh, excuse me, future value that we need. So we'll go ahead and do. Oh, this got changed. So four percent. Um, so we'll go ahead and do. So we'll go ahead and do a present value function. Our rate is four percent. Number of periods is twenty five, and our payment is here. But we're going to do a negative payment to make this positive. And so when we retire on that day, we're going to need two point three million dollars in the bank if we want to live off fifty five thousand dollars in today's money per year. Now, bear with me. I know that may seem like a ton of money right now, but we're going to talk about the amount you need to save monthly in order to achieve that financial goal. But before we continue, if you're still here, hopefully you're still watching because this is important stuff. If you're planning for retirement, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button, please. And thank you. All right. So now this is kind of where we come down to the, the meat of it. You know how much we actually need to save per month in order to achieve that goal. Um, so we need to know the, the future value um, or the amount needed on hand on the day we retire. Um, so we can just go ahead and copy this down. Um, and that will be the $2.3 million. All right. And then we need to know the rate, the rate of return before, before we retire. All right. Um, so generally while we're putting money into this before, while we're working, um, we'll have it in whatever type of retirement account or whatever type of investments or index funds, mutual funds, whatever, um, will generally be a little bit more risky because we still have a lot of long ways to go. So well, we, we can expect a higher rate of return than when we're retired. So let's just say that this will be a 9%, a 9% annual return on our money which is, is, is pretty fair to say. But what we're going to want to do is divide that by 12 to get it to monthly. So a 0.75% return monthly. And this will be the rate, obviously. Whoops. This will obviously be the rate. Um, and then we will, the next thing we, the last thing we need to know is the number of years, um, until we retire all right and this will be obviously the n per or number of periods um so again we already know that to be 40 um, but we're going to want to times that by 12 in order to get that to months so 480 total months and then this will get us to know the amount needed or amount we need to save each month. All right, and that will be done by a simple PMT function. So we're gonna do PMT. We will select the rate, the number of periods, and we're gonna go ahead and skip, and we're gonna make this negative, future value of 2.3 million. And that gets us to $492.82. So we need to save this much each year if we want to live off of $55,000 in today's value or in today's money per year when we retire. Or save that much in order to get $2.3 million saved up when we retire. And there you have it. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment. Hopefully this video was super useful because um, then once you have this set up, you can just go back and be like, oh, instead of $55,000, let's say I want to make 60, I want to live off 65,000. So then we'll calculate everything for you and look, oh, I need to live, I need to save $582. So I need to save a little bit more in order to reach those goals. 
All right, so that's just a quick overview of a simplified retirement model. Obviously, it's not going to be 100% accurate because you're going to be earning differently per year um, or when you're retired. You might retire sooner or retire later or maybe your goals change in the future. Um, but this is just a basic overview of how of a retirement model that, that you could go off of. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you stuck with me that whole time and really learned something valuable. Um, please subscribe and smash that like button. Have a great one. Bye.